This video is brought to you by HiFiVega.com. It's car audio for enthusiasts by enthusiasts. I offer everything from an easy electrical upgrade, a big three kit in various stages, all the way up to Hi-Fi Vega merch. I have, of course, the wire tee right here. I've got the traditional Hi-Fi Vega It's Your Boy shirt. So make sure you check me out at HiFiVega.com and uh, please, enjoy this video. It's your boy High Five Vega back again and this time we're going to talk about the top five sub amps you can get for under $500. We're looking for the biggest power, the most reliable, the coolest amps you can get for under $500. You guys requested it. I figured it was my duty to go ahead and pick my personal top five amps that I would look at if I had $500 and I wanted a little bit of power. With that being said, I think it is time to just go ahead and jump straight in to my number five pick. Number five. So my number five pick is the DC Audio 1.2K. It's a 1200 watt RMS Korean board amplifier. You know that these amps are rock solid, they're reliable. They kind of set the bar for a lot of other amps. And this one comes in at $385. It's rated 350 watts by one at four ohms mono, 700 watts by one at two ohms mono, and 1200 watts by one at one ohm mono. It's also rated at 16 volts, 1450 watts by one at 1 ohm mono. Now, the godfather Steve Mead done a dyno of one of these about eight years ago. I'll leave a link in the description below, but you can see that this amp actually puts out at 14 volts around 1500 watts. I think it was like 1491 watts. It's a solid choice. If you're looking for a super reliable amp, it's strappable as well. So you can get two of these if you want to and uh, double that power up. I think it's a solid top five pick, and I think it's one that you guys should be looking at if you want something reliable and you don't need a ton of power. Number four. For well, my number four pick, I'm going with the JP23. This amp, I don't know if you wanna call it infamous or notorious, but this thing is absolutely a beast, no doubt about it. It's the new kit on the block but it's doing a lot of things right. It's priced at $350, an absolute steal. It's got that old school US amps look to it. This amp has two sets of rating. It is rated 700 watts by one at four ohms mono, 12 volts. It is rated 1000 watts by one, two ohms mono at 12 volts and 2000 by one at one ohm mono. That is also at 12 volts. At 14.4 volts, it is rated 1300 watts by one at two ohm mono and it's rated 2300 watts by one at one ohm mono. This amp can also be strapped and what's really special about this amp besides the look of it, it looks very cool. It's got a plexiglass back. That's awesome. If you want to mount it upside down, it's got fans, but the thing that stands out the most is the base knob. It's super dope all kinds of features. It's it's very bright, but I think they had a revision on that. So definitely want to check this amp out if you're looking for a serious amp. And this amp put out nearly 3000 watts when my buddy Big D tested it out. I'll definitely have a link to that video in the description so you can check it out. It's an absolute monster. Definitely worth the number four spot on this list. I mean, you could even put this higher depending on what your power needs are, but it's a solid amp. Derek seems to really like this amp, likes the bass knob, and I can't blame him at all. It seems like a great value at $349. Number three. For my number three pick, I'm going with the Incriminator Audio IA 10.1. The 20.1 is a legendary amp. It makes over 4,200 watts. I believe it's rated at like 2,800 watts. I couldn't find a dyno for this particular model, but I'm gonna leave the one that Steve Mead done on the 20.1 impressive amp for sure. And this one comes in at $389. It is rated 400 watts by one at four ohm mono. It's rated 800 watts by one at two ohm mono and 1200 watts by one at one ohm mono. It comes with a bass knob and a clip indicator. Very nice to have. This one can also be strapped. It also claims 85% efficiency, which is pretty awesome in my book. That's, that's very good efficiency for a bigger power amplifier. With that being said, let's go to my number two pick. Number two. Number two on my list is the Sundown SIA 3500. It is the Sundown Intelligent Amplifier. This has a few different upgrades over the standard 
full bridge or Brazilian style amplifier. It comes in at $418. It's rated 1750 watts by one at four ohm mono. It is rated 3000 watts by one at two ohm mono and 3500 watts by one at one ohm mono. Derek Haddock did do a dyno test on this particular amplifier. I will leave that link in the description below as well as an affiliate link, of course, in the description below for all the amps on this video. But this amp did make its power and it's got a few features that I think put it ahead of the standard Brazilian style amp. One of them being the true one aught terminals. Even some of the upgraded Brazilian style amps that have the one aught terminals are actually a bit undersized. These seem to be spot on with a standard one aught terminal. This amp also has a thermal management system with a three speed fan, so that's nice as well. But most importantly, this amp can go down to nine volts and operate up to 16 volts. That's kind of a big problem with Brazilian style amps is they cannot handle low voltage. They will fry very quickly if you drop much below 12 volts. It's nice to have that buffer down to nine volts as a little bit of added protection, as well as an included bass knob, so that's always nice to have. This amp seems to be pretty solid pick. It's a good value at $418, and that's why it got the number two spot. Number one. For my number one pick, I'm gonna hit you with a ton of power, the Defbonce 4900.1. It comes in at $460. It's rated 1800 watts by one at four ohm mono. It's rated 3200 watts by one at two ohm mono and is rated 4900 watts by one at one ohm mono. And that is at 12 volts. At 14.4 volts at one ohm mono, it's rated 5050 watts. There is one video testing this amp and it came up just short on the certified run, but the voltage was a little light. We were around 14.1 volt, not the full 14.4 volts, but obviously I will leave that video in the description below so you can check it out for yourself. But if you're gonna spend $500 and you need a lot of power, I think this amp is where it's at, the Def Bonds 4900.1. It's putting out a ton of power at $460. If you have some better amps, some amps that I did not mention in this video, what did I miss? What amp would you pick if you had $500 and you wanted a nice sub amp for, you know, getting loud, not an SQ amp, but a just getting loud, a block beater, maybe even an SPL system. Let me know your picks below. I'm interested to hear it. I appreciate all of you guys who take the time to like, subscribe, and all that stuff. And if you are not subscribed and you like this type of video, please consider subscribing, hit that bell, so you get notifications when I drop more videos like this. With that being said, I look forward to seeing you on the next video. I'd like to thank all my Patreon supporters, but a special shout out goes to the six star or more members, 2001 Monolithic, Gene Nava, Joaquin Juarez, El Fuego, Travis McClendon, Brandon Hanna, William Berg, Boxboy Audio Sound Solution, Jesus Tires, Orion the Great, Dennis Cromwell Jr., Scott Dilbeck, D. Stewart, Aaron Waltz, David Koslick, Scott McCord, and Matthew Tully. For as little $2 a month, you can join the team and help me reach my goal of $200 a month so I can do an exclusive Patreon-only monthly podcast for every tier from $2 all the way up. I appreciate you guys taking the time to listen to my pitch. And if you want to support, check me out at patreon.com slash vega. Since you're a true OG and you decided to stick around for the after credits, I'm gonna hit you with an honorable mention. And this is only an honorable mention because it's often not in stock. It's the Wolfram O5000.1. It comes in at $399.95. And for that $400, you get 1800 watts by one at four ohm mono. You get 3200 watts by one at two ohm mono and 5000 watts by one at one ohm mono. This amp did close to 5,800 watts when my buddy Ryan from Budget Jam and Budget Bus tested it. Obviously, there will be a link in the description below for that video. You're gonna wanna check it out. If this thing comes back in stock, definitely recommend this amp for $400. It's very hard to beat, and if it was in stock all the time, I would have had this probably at my number one spot, but it is what it is. If you can catch it in stock, use my affiliate link below and buy that sucker and let me know what you think.